The last category is the e-verbs. Okay? Mita and kaimita, okay, which means to believe or to trust, and kidarida, which means to wait. Mita, the unchanged form is mi. Okay? Drop the da, we got mi. Following our same rule, we bring in the o. Okay? We have mi do. Okay? This is our changed form. Mi, mi do. Put the yo to be polite, mi do yo, or mi do. Okay? And the last one. Hidari da. Okay? This is a bit of a mouthful. Uh, especially when we see the change form. Okay? Ki, ta, ri. And we bring in our o. Okay? And same as always, when it ends in a vowel, there's this contraction of sound. Now, if you say this quickly, ki, da, ri, and then o, ki, da, ri, o. Ki, da, ri, o. Ki, da, ri, o. Okay? Say that quickly. What it looks like, okay, it sounds just like that. What it looks like is, this becomes the yo vowel. Okay? Ki, da, ri, o. Okay, and if you say that and you say the other one that we just had, kidario, okay, you can hear that they sound uh, virtually exactly the same. Kidario, kidario. Okay, they sound exactly the same, and that's what's happening. It's a contraction of sound. Okay, but that's how it's written. Okay, kidario. Put the yo on to be polite, and this is where it becomes a mouthful. Kidario yo. Okay, kidario yo, and then drop it for the casual. Kidario. Okay. Those are the regular groups of verbs, okay? There's only six of them. Now, again, there are other verbs, uh, and there are actually, there's one other major group of verbs that is not a regular verb, it doesn't follow the rules um, for, the for creating the change part, but I'm gonna show you it anyways because it's hugely common, if not the most common group of verbs in Korean, okay? And those are hada verbs, okay? Hada by itself just means to do. Okay, it's, it's a base form to do. Uh, that being said, there are tons of different things you can put on the front, which are very often Chinese characters, uh, and they give that verb a new meaning. For example, if I said, nore hada, okay, I don't know if you know nore bang, okay, the singing rooms, nore, nore hada will mean to sing, okay, nore will be song. Um, yori hada, okay, yori hada will be to cook, okay. But hada by itself just means to do, okay? And this is a group because it doesn't matter what goes here. It's the ha you're focusing on. It's the ha that makes the change. So if you learn exactly how to conjugate this, then you know how to conjugate every single hada verb there is, okay? So hada, our unchanged form is ha, okay? Uh, this will follow the same rules for the honorific, uh, and I'll show you that. Ha, sorry, that's a bit messy. Ha ends in a vowel. We just put our B underneath. Okay? Hamnida. Okay? And you may have heard okay, the question form, Hamnika. You may have heard the greeting, Anyangashinika. Okay? That's exactly what's happening here. The change form is He. He. And there's, again, this isn't following any rules. It, you just have to know this. He. Put the yo, heo, and he. Okay, you may have heard sarang heyo. Sarang hada in its root form means to love. Sarang heyo is the conjugated form, the changed form. Okay? Sarang he. Okay? So the unchanged form being ha, the changed form being he. Okay? So those are the main seven groups of verbs. Six regular groups of verbs and the hada group. Okay? That's how you conjugate them. Now, I'm going to show you exactly why it's so important to know how to go from the unchanged to the change, okay? So what we just conjugated, showing you the levels I just conjugated, I'm basically just conjugating into what we can call the simple present tense, okay? Um, not, it's not past tense, it's not future. Um, similar to in English, you might say, he goes to school. You know, that verb is just in the simple present, talking about habits or, um, things that are always true, or just things you do regularly, okay, this kind of stuff. Um, but, you know, that's great for a basic level, but once you want to get more advanced, you want to start speaking in the past tense, you want to start speaking in the future tense, uh, you don't want to say, I go, you want to say, I want to go, uh, these sorts of things. You want to give the verb a little bit more meaning, 
Okay? And this is the next step in Korean. Okay? You learn how to conjugate, you learn those rules, and then you apply them to this. And you can start expanding what you know by learning different sentence patterns. Okay? So, I'm going to use the two that I just mentioned because I think they're super A common, super useful for getting your Korean to the next level, um, which is the past tense and the future tense. Okay? So the way it works, and I'm going to speak a little bit more generally right now, the way it works is with these new sentence patterns, when you want to put a verb in, into these patterns, for example, I did, I will do, I want to do, this kind of stuff, you want to change that, then you're going to, some sentence patterns are going to utilize or use the unchanged form of a verb. And if a sentence pattern uses the unchanged form of verb, it'll always use the unchanged form of verb, no matter what the verb is. Some sentence patterns will use the changed form of a verb. And if it uses the changed form of verb, it will always use the changed form of a verb, no matter what the verb is. Let me show you. The future tense, to say, I will do something, okay? And not necessarily I, you, it can be you, it doesn't matter, that part I'm not focusing on, but is... Okay? I'm not focusing on the conjugation of this, this is just in the common level. Okay? Okay? This is just a little squiggly to show this L sound must come out. Okay? So, if we want to use the verb to see, I'm going to watch, okay? I'm going to see whatever, I'm going to look. We know it's boda. We know boda is bo is the unchanged form. The future tense always uses the unchanged form. Okay? So if our unchanged form of this is bo, then we apply this. We put our liel, which is here, in the bottom, and we apply this. Okay? I'm going to watch, I'm going to see. Take another verb, let's take. I'm going to eat, okay? Eat is mokta. The unchanged form is mo, okay? We're going to keep the unchanged form. Uh, now we need this L sound to come out, so because this ends in a consonant, what happens is we get this. So it's just a bit of flow to help that L sound come out. Mogul goeo, okay? Mogul goeo, I'm going to eat, okay? Both of these utilizing the unchanged form. The future tense, always this sentence pattern always uses the unchanged form no matter what the verb is. Okay? Hada. We just saw to do. I'm going to do. Will be will be hal koeo. Okay? Doesn't matter what the verb is, it's always the unchanged form. Which is nice because if you learn a verb in its root form, its base form, you know, and you know this sentence pattern, then all it requires is dropping the down, plugging it in you can speak in the future tense really easily, okay? Unfortunately, the past tense is not the same. The past tense, which I'll show you, is, requires the, the changed form of a verb, okay? So it's very easy to speak in the future form. All you have to know is the verb in its base form. To speak in the past tense is another story, okay? The past tense utilizes the changed form. So let's use our same verbs. Okay, bo to see, boda. You need the change form of bo, which is ba. Remember it brought in the a and then there was that contraction of sound? Ba, okay? That's our unchanged form. Now the way the past tense works is you put a double s underneath, and this is just the rule, this happens with every verb. You've got your change form, you put a double s underneath, okay? And you add oil, basoil, okay? Again, I'm not going to say that W bois basayo, okay? To me, that's the way I hear it more often, basayo, okay? Now, again, same with this. I'm not showing the con conjugation of the past tense. This also itself can conjugate into honorific basunida, basayo, and baso, drop the yo. It also has the three levels, but I'm not focusing on that now. I'm just showing you why the changed form and unchanged form is so important to know, okay? The past tense is always going to utilize the unchanged form. Taking the same verb, mokda, to eat. Remember we brought in that o, okay, because it's in the o category. Mogo was the change form. The past tense, we put our double s underneath that last vowel, okay, mogos, and we add oil. 
먹었어요. Okay? We taking out this verb, ha. Okay, we just learned that the change form of ha for hada verbs is he. So I did it would be hesoyo. Okay, a super common expression. Chaesoyo. Okay, means you did well. Cha means well. Okay? Um, so those are two huge examples of why you need the to know the unchanged and the change form. Past tense, if you want to speak in the past tense, you absolutely must know the change form. Okay? Again, don't get frustrated and be like, oh my god, it's so hard to learn. It's not. Okay? You can see it's easy to understand. It's a little, it takes a little bit of effort to get it down, but keep trying and you will get it.